really good. If you didn't have enough festival content, I've actually got more of that for you. What I've been really trying to translate in my channel at the moment is to be a bit more sustainable, be a bit more conscious about fast fashion, about wastage and about being minimal. Obviously being in the beauty and fashion industry it's very hard to do that. I'm not perfect, I know that I'm not perfect. I have a lot of clothes in my wardrobe at the moment that I don't wear at all. I'm loving the idea of reinventing your wardrobe at the moment and given that I thought I would create this video which is basically a DIY festival outfits video. I have three DIY festival outfits to show you and um, all of them are literally pennies to make. I'll be showing you in the try on clips how I style them as well to give you an idea on all the different things you can do. My name's Amy if you're new to my channel so if you like all my content please hit the subscribe button because it would mean the absolute world to me and yeah let me know what you think of this video give it a thumbs up if you like it and if you'd like to see how I created these three festival DIY outfits then keep watching so for this first festival outfit you will need a sarong some scissors and a thread and needle take your sarong and lay it out flat and then all you need to do is kind of fold it in half long ways so the end of that sarong is basically your skirt so you just want to cut it all the way through with the two materials folded and this will be your front and back of your skirt and yeah you can leave a bit of room actually I did just for some leeway. Now take your needle and thread you don't have to be a master at sewing like I'm actually such a rookie so do not judge me but you can see here I'm just pushing the needle through both the material and then going back in the same place and I do that all the way down my skirt. You can do it all the way but I ended up leaving like a little bit of a gap for a little split. Obviously you don't have to do the other side because that is already folded. So I'm just showing you how I fasten off here. So I just pop the needle in and then I kind of do this in, out, in, out and um, back the direction that I came and this will just help it fasten off. Then you should have something a little like this. So I sewed that much and then I also just left a split because I thought it might look cool. Turn your project the other way around so the frill bit is on the opposite end, that will be the bottom of the skirt. So I'm just basically cutting a line just to straighten up where my waistband will be, but also I'll be using this excess now in a belt. So I've got this like belt that's attached so I just like basically take scissors and I cut it so it's long and it's detachable and then I take my scissors and make little small insertions in the top of the waistband so that I can basically just thread that piece of material through and create a belt. This bit's a little fiddly but you should end up with something like this and you can basically just tie your skirt to fit you around your waist and that is your skirt. So for the top just take your excess material and fold it in half and you want to cut a straight line through both the materials and this is going to be like a bandeau top and that's pretty much it, that's your top so when you put it on all you need to do is just tie the back or you can wrap it around your neck and then tuck it into your waistband to create a different sort of style.
the next outfit, all you will need is a pair of fishnet tights and some scissors. So literally this is the easiest one, all you need to do is just cut the tights so they are kind of like cycle shorts and literally that is it. For this next outfit, you will need a pair of old jazzy leggings, scissors, and I did end up using thread as well. Fold your leggings long ways, make sure they're nice and tidy and tight and you literally just need to cut them again like cycle shorts. Because they're quite stretchy you want to leave a bigger gap than you think. And that's pretty much the bottoms done. For the top you want to grab the two legs and all you're going to do is take one and cut along the seam and just open it up and you're going to do the same thing with the other one as well. Then when they're both done, you can kind of see where the top is going to form. Um, you want to flip it around the other way when you're sewing, just because it will look better with the seam. So I turn them over so they're inside out and then I get my sewing needle and just sew all the way down. Again, I'm just showing you here where I fasten off. So I go back the way I came and do like an in, out, in, out, in, out motion and then fasten off. I am so aware that these are probably not the terms, but you know, your girl doesn't know how to sew. So this is pretty much your top done. You can style it in so many different ways, but I chose to do this like wrap over effect. So that was it guys, thank you so much for watching, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one.